What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we have a little bit of a tough decision to do, now that we have finished this Sacred Awakening session, we had some really good results, however, now there's one of two things we must decide, do we either take the time and retire all of these hero copies back into Contract Starry Gems, or do we do something with the Soul Statue, as you guys know, I've like, barely invested into it, I did it like the very first time it came out, uh, granted, we can invest, what, like over 5,000 additional stats to a hero, which could be pretty good. I mean, that's probably the smart move. But if I were to do that, man, that would... There's no quick way to do it either. You literally got to go through and just like click everything. So let's see how many points this would actually give us. Because this is the big question I've been having is, is all this worth just chucking over to here? Because this is a lot of contract starry gems. And on my account, this is one of those power-up systems that I've just not been able to do because it's ridiculously expensive. So that is what? 58,630. So if we divide that by 100, that is 586 additional power. I mean, that's more than double than what we currently have, but that's still a drop in the bucket when you compare it to the stats that you can get on this hero. And I don't know if I want to do any more than that because the other thing we could do is literally go on the market right now and we could just buy up like so many hero copies. We could buy up so many for such a discount and turn all of this into soul power on our account because again, we're gonna have a ton, ton of starry gems after we sell our hero cap because if you guys remember, we got that S tier Betty, and I don't know how many Bettys are up here. There's absolutely no Bettys even up for sale. We're going to re-roll the Betty too. So I don't know which one to do, because I, I, I don't even really know exactly what this would retire into Contract Starry Gems wise. I mean, I guess we could try to math this out. It would not be easy to math it out. But I'm thinking maybe I should before we make that decision here today. So, mathing this out, not touching any of, of course, like the B pluses and such that we probably wouldn't do anyway, this turns into 18,470 contract starry gems. Um, that actually seems worthwhile to do it into the tower instead of here. However, there are some things I want to do here. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to retire like a lot of these E copies real quick. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is get rid of the low tier stuff here because we do need to purchase more hammers for our today's later video doing our Betty. So I'm thinking we do something like this where we do smart destruction up to a certain point because again, these E tiers don't really do much. They do retire for a little bit uh, and we'll go to the E plus that gives us about 840 here and beyond that we can then go into the statue and then this is where I guess we can actually boost up our power now all these are just going to be fed away and again this is essentially throwing away just under eighteen thousand contract starry gems for the sake of this but it also makes me consider spending a lot of my current con or my current starry gems to buy up more c tiers and chuck them into here it definitely seems wild, uh, worthwhile. So yeah, it's still about 58. Doing the really low tier stuff is not that great, but now we get additional power and we can continue to power up our, uh, almost said Asmodel, <laughs> our Doom Terminator Vulcan. So should we work on capping this out? We also have to figure out what the best value is to buy off the auction house right now as well. Contract starry gems to charging progress. So I think that's what I'm going to do here later today. And I'm going to figure out overall what to get going. Um, because again, if, if we can finally invest in this power system and make our one big damage dealer even stronger, this could be a huge boost in overall stats. But in case you guys wanted to see the breakdown on what these would have been as far as like contract starry gems goes uh it's a little janky Be, bear with me uh i'll leave it up here for a second if you guys are interested to see what each tier kind of broke down to for retirement value not a whole lot but definitely more than we would necessarily need and again like i said most of these are going to be going towards hammers at this point uh we're gonna buy up all 30 of these hammers when we have some time 
I guess we could have used, you know, contract starry gems for like treasure train tickets and stuff like that. But there's not much we need in this mall. In reality, I think what we have to do is we have to figure out what the best value is here and buy a ton up. So doing a little math here based on our overall progress and this breakdown right here, I'm actually going to go back to this and show you something based on the current values on the auction house. Technically, if you want to go with the best progress per starry gem purchase, it looks like C tiers are pretty close to the same. I mean, all the C minus C and C plus are very, very close. If you go by the current value that they are selling at, of course, as you buy these copies up, this value will change. You might need to move to a different category. What this definitely shows, though, is that, uh, yeah, going for like B tiers is not going to be the way. So I'm going to buy up a ton of C tiers and then we're going to see exactly where we are at on this progression so one of two things one you might hear some noise in the background i do apologize can't avoid it right now but i just did the math on this okay so if we were to go disassemble these and we wanted to max out the rest of this hero right here 821 already points in there oh we would have to go about forty-six thousand starry gems worth of c tiers and that's if the value stayed the same it would probably be even more than that which we technically can't afford right now what's insane to think is to get this one hero maxed out is well over like fifty thousand starry gems to get this bonus power here and it's absolutely crazy the sheer amount of power that is needed. But the one thing I want to check, because I've never actually done this. I want to recycle this. Let's take a look at the power of our hero here. Let's just see what it's doing. 56,861. That's the attack value. That's the one we really care about. Uh, care about. 56,861. 56,861. 56,861 is now 58. Wait. Wait, what? 58303. Wait, this what what just happened? Okay. It's like 2 million attack for what we have into it. Oh my gosh. 2 million attack. Is that even worth it when we consider we're not like oh my gosh this is so stupid <laughs> 5110 subtract 821 4289 divide that by another 821 so we can do that five more times so essentially if we were to do this like five times more and maxed it out we could potentially get like 10 million more attack on this hero Oh, I don't know if that's really worth. Is it worth getting another 10 million? I mean, that's a lot of attack, right? That's 20% additional attack value. That seems like a ton. And do you think we would need that for content? Or should we spend those resources and instead have fun? With something like this, like that's really inexpensive. I don't know. I feel like I feel like S tiers sound more fun than power. What do you guys think? Give me your feedback. Would you like to see more S tier heroes or would you like to see oh, I don't know, just crazy amount of powers going on to one hero which would be Doom Terminator Vulcan. I honestly don't know which way I want to go. You got to remember we're probably going to have about 150 to 200,000 starry gems when we get done selling our hero copies, so yeah, I don't know. You guys let me know. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.